Okay, so this is part three of making this little soot sprite from Spirited Away. And if you haven't already seen part one and two, where we do the modeling and then the fur and materials, check that out. But this is gonna be the part where we create this adorable little rig for our character so we can actually go ahead and pose his little limbs, move him around. Um, very kind of cute sort of setup here um, that you can try out yourself. So let's jump in. And as always, this blend file will be um, available on my Patreon as well. In part two, we added these lights and a background and all that. So let's just take the camera and holding in shift, let's just select all of these lights and the background. Let's just press M and then click new collection. Let's just call the stage and go create. And over here, we can come to the stage collection and just turn it off in the viewport. So it's still renderable, but we just don't see it in the viewport. And that just cleans things up a bit for us. We're then also gonna click on our main collection because that's where we wanna add our armature. And we're gonna go shift A, we're gonna go to our armature options and add in a single bone. And we're gonna come over here to our data, object data properties for the bone. So it's the little green dude over here. And you're gonna come over here to viewport display and change the display as to um, B bone, okay? Cool, so now let's go into edit mode. And while we're here as well, let's just also come to the viewport display here. Just make it in front. So if we do move the bones, we can kind of see it through the character like an X-ray. Okay, we're just gonna make it handy. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go G, Z and move up a single bone. This is gonna be a really, really simple rig. So this um, bone here is the bone in the middle. Um, actually, let's, I'm just thinking here, maybe we want actually a root bone first. So what we'll do, we'll leave this bone down here. And that's simply just a bone where everything's parented to. And with this bone selected, we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate and Z and move it up. Place it in the middle here and then go S, Z and just scale it up in a Z a bit like this. And that's gonna just be what allows us to move the body. With this bone selected, we're gonna go Shift D to duplicate, move it over. And then we're gonna go R and we're gonna rotate it the other way around like so and click and then go S to scale it down. And we're gonna go G and move it here to where the leg is. Now you can see this bone is quite thick and even if we scale it, it only scales lengthwise. So what we're gonna do with it selected, we're gonna go to armature, transform, and we're gonna go over to scale B bone. And now if you move your mouse cursor, you can see we can make this way skinnier. So let's go something like that, okay? And let's move this knob down and let's click on this bone and let's go over to our bone properties. It's a little bone down here. And over here you see it's got a name. Let's just name this to upper leg and then dot capital L. So upper leg dot capital L. Now the dot capital L is super important. That's gonna allow us to mirror it all over. And then let's grab this nub here. It should roughly be in the middle of the leg. We're gonna go E to extrude and Z and extrude it down to where the feet are, like so. And then we're gonna go into our right orthographic view. And with this bottom nub here selected at the bottom there, right? In our right orthographic view, we're gonna go E to extrude and extrude it forward, like so. And um, what we could do, I'm just thinking about it here, we can go into our bottom orthographic view, just select this bone here and go Shift D to duplicate, move it over, R to rotate it, and just roughly line that up with this toe here. Shift D to duplicate, rotate this one, place it here, like so. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold in Shift and just select these three. And while we're still holding in Shift, select the bottom leg and go Control P, and um, we'll try connected and see if that works. It should work fine. So now all of those are connected like so. And then we're gonna grab this nub here at the bottom. We're gonna go E to extrude and Y and extrude it back. And then we're gonna click on this bone here and go Alt P and we're gonna go um, clear parent. And now it's its own bone. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna select this lower bone and let's just change this to lower leg dot capital L. So get rid of this. So it just needs to be lower leg dot capital L. Hit enter. And then you can select these toes here. So let's select one here and just call it toe one dot capital L. You can kind of copy this over here and then grab the next one and paste it in. And then just change this to two. Grab this one here and paste it in and just change this to toe three dot capital L. And then grab this bone over here that we created at the back. We're just gonna call this leg IK dot capital L. 
And with this IK bone selected, because it's gonna control our leg, we're just gonna simply come here to the deform and just turn it off for that one, okay? That's really important. And then we wanna go into the right orthographic view. I wanna grab this middle nub and just move it a bit forward. So it's kind of a little bend here, and that's just gonna allow the knee to bend there when we move up the IK bone. So now let's select this upper leg bone here. Holding in shift, let's select the body bone here and go control P and let's go keep offset. And then let's with this, just the body bone selected, hold in shift and select the root bone and go control P and then go keep offset. Then select the bottom bone here, go to your bone little tab here and let's just call this root. And then let's just turn off the form for it because it's just simply a bone that everything um, is attached to that we can grab to move all the bones. And now we're gonna grab this, um, I guess we can do the IKs first. We're gonna actually just go into pose mode. We're gonna select this IK bone and holding in shift, we're gonna select the lower leg bone. So this one first and then this one and then go control shift C and then make it inverse kinematic. Then click on this bone that turns yellow. Go to your bone constraints and change the chain length to two. So now if we grab this IK bone and we go G to move it, you can see it influences the two bones on top of it like that. Another thing we could do as well is just go back into object mode or actually edit mode, go back into edit mode. Select these three bones over here and then holding in shift, select the IK and go control P and then make it keep offset. So now if we go back into pose mode, we grab this, not only can we move the leg, we can also rotate it like so. And we can grab each one of these bones here and individually rotate them. Let's press A to select everything if you've moved it and just go Alt to G or, and Alt R to reset any rotation and movements in pose mode. Let's go back into edit mode and we're just gonna select all of these leg bones like so. We're gonna go to armature and go symmetrize. Okay, let's go into pose mode again and we should be able to grab this body and go G and you should see that the legs do this. Pretty cool. Let's go back into edit mode um, we could probably also just select these two IK bones over here, holding and shift, select the root bone and go control P. And let's go keep offset to parent them to that. Okay. Um, now, just to keep things simple, let's just select the upper leg and lower leg bones. Just these two. Shift D to duplicate them, move them over here. And then let's just go R and rotate them like so. And then go S, Z, zero, just to flatten them. And let's go G and just move them up and kind of align them with the arm here, like that. And let's just grab this one over here. Let's get our bone and let's just call this upper arm dot capital L, okay? So this is the upper arm dot capital L. This one over here is gonna be the lower arm dot capital L, like so. And what we're gonna do is with this one over here, um, I don't think we're actually gonna create an IK for these. There's probably no need to do that. But what we will do is just select both of these now, go to armature and go symmetrize. And let's go into pose mode. Um, and let's just grab these and just the ones that are yellow here that are pointing down, go to the bone constraints and just remove the IK on each one of these like that, okay? So we could always individually just rotate these bones, which is fine. But another thing we wanna do is just select them and go over to the bone properties. Go to bendy bones and then give them each 12 segments. Um, this one as well. So now if we um, rotate, there we go. You can see it's got a bit of bend to it. So every time I move it, I just go Alt G, Alt R with it selected. Let's grab this side and let's just give that 12 as well. And let's grab this bone, give that 12 segments. And let's do the same with the bones down here. Um, 12, grab this one, 12, this one, 12, and then the lower leg bone here, just give that 12 segments. So now if we grab this IK, we go G, you can see we have a little bit of bend. That just looks a lot more like what we see in the actual animation. And the cool thing about this rig now as well, this bone moves all this, and we can grab this bone down here and that moves everything. Okay, so now let's go into object mode. Let's select our character body. And let's just also select the eyes, holding in shift. Holding in shift, we're gonna select the rig and we're gonna go over to object mode. We're gonna go into pose mode. 
with them still active, you can see here. And then we're just going to click on this body bone and go Control P. And we're going to go with a direct bone parent. So now if we go back into object mode, we just deselect everything. We select our rig and let's just go back into pose mode. We should be able to move and you see the body goes along. We can also scale and that all scales. Okay, that's really good. But what we want to do with this body bone selected, just go over to your bone properties, scroll down and turn off the forum for that. Now go back into object mode. Now select your arm and legs, as you can see here. Go to your modifiers and just apply that mirror. And then with them selected, hold and shift and select the rig. Then go control P and then this time go with automatic weights. Now if we select the rig and we go into pose mode, let's test this by selecting this IK bone. You can see we can now control the leg. It's all moving along. We can grab this guy. We can do cute little rotations like this. How cool is that? And you can kind of see, so that's how I've posed it now. And it's looking just absolutely adorable. So yeah, that's a very simple little rig for this little soot sprite um, that anybody could make. Um, so yeah, let's um, pose him. So I'm gonna go ahead I'm going to grab this IK over here. I'm going to go G and move it over to the side. I'm going to grab the body and kind of bend them down. I'll rotate this leg out. And I'll kind of do the same over here with this leg IK. Grab this upper bone and just rotate it. Just kind of going for the classic sprite, soot sprite pose here. Like this. Very, very simple little rig to pose this guy with. And I might just rotate the body. A little bit very cute and then I'm gonna go into object mode go back into the camera view and then I'll grab my um, turn on my stage again I'll just grab my camera and just kind of move it back like so I might go to my camera settings and just make it 120 on the focal length zoom the camera back a little bit something like that and if you want to, you can kind of duplicate this floor or the background, kind of put it under the character, like so, if you want to. And now if we go Z and go into our rendered view, we can kind of see this cute little um, soot guy. So I'm going to actually grab the armature here, just hide it so I don't see it. And then I can more easily kind of lift that floor up till it kind of touches the feet of the sprite little sprite um, guy here. So I might just have to make a slight adjustment with that rig just so that foot is sitting on here. But you can mess around with that as much as you want. This is kind of just the simple little rig. So I'm going to make sure to save. And um, let's also just grab the character here. Let's just go to our uh, modifiers. And you want to make sure that um, yeah, that's all looking good over here. I think that should be it. So now let's go render and render the image. And there we have it. That is just the cutest character I think I've ever made. I've really enjoyed this tutorial and I will be making this blend file available on my Patreon. You can check that out in the description. So I really hope you've enjoyed this. I'll see you next time and thank you for watching.